One of the childcare centres that reappeared while Chernobyl heals its wounds and life goes back to normal. These youngsters were born nearly two decades after the accident and their health is not at risk. However, those who were under 18 at the time of Chernobyl explosion were not as lucky. Their health problems have been summed up in a recent study by eight UN agencies. The study says that there have been 4,000 cases of thyroid gland cancer, mainly in children and adolescents, but except for nine deaths, all of them recovered. Department of Nuclear Diagnostics and Therapy of a large hospital in Kiev, headed by Professor Ofse Epstein. Here young patients with thyroid cancer are diagnosed and treated. This small but potent clinic started with only five beds, increased its capacity to 11 beds and has been saving lives for 10 years. Our clinic doesn't stay idle a single day. With this modest arrangement of 11 beds, we have provided a full course of treatment to over 1,500 children. I still call them children. The children of Chernobyl, grown up now, developed thyroid cancer by consuming products contaminated with radioactive iodine. Fortunately, thyroid cancer can be successfully treated with surgery, drugs and radiation therapy. The radioactive isotope of iodine can be both the killer and the cure. When a thyroid gland has developed a malignant tumor, this isotope is used to suppress the gland's activity. A smaller dose is used for periodic medical control. Any cancer can backslide, but thank God none of our patients had had a relapse. Professor Epstein has a small but dedicated staff. They are overworked and underpaid. A qualified doctor earns about $100 a month. A single capsule of radioactive iodine is about $250 apiece. A new clinic is still under construction, completion delayed for lack of funds. But in the end, it is his professional satisfaction that outweighs the difficulties. I can never forget tears of joy in the eyes of a father from the western Ukraine. He thought that cancer is a death sentence, and he openly sobbed when he heard that his child is okay. And now, 10 years later, after we've treated more than 1,500 patients, I feel not only optimism, but a conviction that we are on the right track.